Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you how to make this ground arrow effect. So if I press play, and if I go to the ground like this, you can see that the arrow is adapting to the ground like this. When you move through a terrain, you can make it adapt to the terrain like this. It will work on most inclines, unless it is like 90 degree, then it will kind of stretch. So this is what we are going to be making today. So you can add different type of effects using different textures. So here if I open up this instance, I can change the color like this to a very bright value. And I have some kind of smoke and electrical effect happening here. And then I can change the location of the dots like this. Then I can increase like the brightness here of the center portion yellow and I can reduce the dots brightness like this or like increase it to a very high value and also I can change colors then I could increase the amount of smoke in it so now you can see more smoke in the middle. Then I can also control the overall power. Like this. Then I can increase the amount of that uh, arm like effect you can see. So I will change this value to 0.9. So you can see more of it. If I change this to 0.1, you won't see much. So I have included uh, more textures here for my Patreons and everyone else will have a Tiara free texture. So you can follow along with the tutorial. So this is a different texture, a little bit different than this one. And this is another texture that kind of looks like water a little bit. So if I select that, I can change the color like this to get a different effect so this is what we are going to be making today and if you want to download the entire project file you can support me on my patreon and for five dollars you can download this and download almost all my previous project files from there the link will be in the description below so check that out also and thank you very much if you support me so to create this first we need to create a decal material so for that, right click, then go to material and I will call this M underscore ARA. Then open it up. Then I will change the shading model to unlit. And I will change the material domain to deferred decals. And I will change the blend mode to translucent. And now I will go to the decal blend mode and change this to MUC only. So we get this MC color and opacity. And now I will just bring in the aura free texture. So if I open this up and if I check in the alpha channel, I have this kind of baby lines. And in the blue channel, I have this donut like shape. And in the green channel, I have this uh, circle and in the red channel I have these dots so first we are going to add the circle so that's in the green channel so now I will just press and hold M and click so we get this multiply and I will connect this to the green channel and I will get a scalar and I will call this circle brightness and I will connect this here and I will get a saturate node so this node will clamp the value between 0 and 1 and it is a bit cheaper than a clamp node. You can use this instead of a clamp if you just want to clamp the value between 0 and 1. So you can connect this to the opacity and connect this to the saturate here. Then we will press and hold V and click. So we get this vector parameter and we can call this color. Then connect this here and click apply then we can 
create a material instance and if I open it up and I get a cube and I will change the brightness to 1 and I will change the color to like an orange color like this so we can see it now and if I change the brightness here you can see that it is getting brighter and brighter as I increase the value so I will give a value of 10 here now we will add in the dots so for that I will just duplicate this and here I will get an add node and I will connect this here and connect this here and for the dots we need to scale this from the center so we can expand the dots so for that we will get a scale by center node so type in scale by center and connect this to the UV here now just get a scalar parameter by pressing only S and clicking then we will call this scale then connect this to the scale and I will default this to 1 and now we can just duplicate this and bring it here and we can connect this to the A here and we can just connect this to the add here and now I will change the name of this to dot brightness now if I click apply and change the dot brightness to like 1 we can see the dots and if I change the scale value we can expand and shrink the dots like this so if you don't really want many dots like this you can just go here and change this to clamp and click apply so now we have just three dots I will change this value to one so it looks like this now to make this rotate we can go here and move this here and here we will type in a rotator and we will change the speed to like 1.2 1 1.2 so it will make the dots rotate like this now to add the flame effects we will just duplicate this with the rotator like this and make sure that it is set to clamp now we will duplicate this again and we will set the rotator one speed to 0.3 and the second one to negative 0.6 now we will add the alpha channel together since that's where we have our flame effect stored so we will connect that here and here and we can go here and duplicate this again and we can connect this here and we will call this flame brightness and now we can get another add node and we can connect this here and connect this here and connect this here and click apply now here you can see the dots spinning and if I change the flame brightness to 1 you can see the flame also I will change this to point one like this so it won't be that visible now we will add the smoky effects here so for that we need to get a texture from the starter content it is called the fire tile texture and bring it into our material now we need to get a node that you can really find by searching here it is called motion four way chaos we can really find that by searching here and it's a bit of an expensive node so I will show you how to get that so now here we will type in normal map from height map chaos and if I open this up I will get this motion four way chaos node just copy that and bring that into the material and press ctrl v so to paste that and just delete this you can also get it by creating an empty material function and calling it here so what this node does is that it will just pan the textures in all four directions so we get a very noisy effect like this so it is a bit of an expensive node so if you want more performance you can just pan around two textures instead of four so here we can really connect this to the texture here because it really accepts a texture 2d so we can just right click and convert this to a texture object then we can connect this to the 
text now i will press and hold s and click so i will get this divisor node and i can connect this to the divisor this will kind of control the amount of texture that we will get out of here and now i will get a speed variable also and i will connect this here and now here we only need the red channel of this so we can just mask this and we can get only the red channel now we can just duplicate this bring it here and change the name to smoke brightness so here in the blue channel you can say big circle like this so we need that to mask out the smoke in the center so we will bring that here and we will just mask this also like this and we will connect the blue channel here now we will just move it here and we can actually add this with this one and we will add it here now if i press apply i can change the divisor value to 1 i can change the smoke brightness to 1 now we can see it now i will change the speed to 1 also now i will decrease the divisor value to 0 0.01 so we get something like this then i will decrease the smoke brightness to 0 0.5 or like 0 0.1 or maybe 0.25 so we have smoke like this here now i can actually increase the brightness here so i will change this brightness to 500 so now it is a bit more brighter now I will just decrease the smoke brightness again and also I will change the smoke brightness to 0.15 or 0.1 so now we have something like this so now we will just test this so we can get a decal here by typing in decal and bring it to the word so it got automatically added to the decal material now if I move this to like into some slopes so here it doesn't appear but that's mostly because of the height so if i just increase the height like this so i will also rotate this the other way so now if it moves with the character then it will align to the slopes because the character kind of changes the height when it enters the slopes now we need to control the overall brightness so for that we can actually add a power node so i will call this power and i will connect this here and i will call this pow for power and i will connect this here and click apply and i will go here and i will change the power to one i will change this to two and now here I can change the smoke brightness to 1 again and I will change the divisor to 1 okay that is a bit too much I will change this to 0.1 or 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 so now we have something like this now we can increase the smoke brightness to like 10 or something like that or like 5 or 2 we can also increase the circle brightness like this i will change this to like thousand and now we can change the smoke brightness to like one and now we can play around with the color so if i change the color like this we get this kind of a result now we have this result and this is kind of similar to what we wanted you can also make all of this a parameter so you can also right click and convert this to a parameter so you can change the texture from here now to add this to our character we just need to open up our character blueprint then we will select the mesh and we go to add component then we will type in decal and we will just add that here so here you can see that it is getting applied to our character 
if you don't really want that you can go to the mesh and type in decal and untick this receive decal so it won't affect our character now select the decal again and here for the decal material we will apply the material we created so just apply that and now if i press play you can see that it is oriented in the different direction so here to fix this we can go here and rotate this 90 degree in the y axis and now if i click compile you can see that it is working like this now if i move through the terrain you can see that it is adapting to the terrain like this and now I can also select the instance now I can change the scale of the dot like this so that it rotates like this I think that's it for the tutorial guys thanks for watching